I V M. Bank account. Of course, I have one. Some may say, I don't have my own, but I use my dad's or my husband's account. What is there to learn? You deposit money and you withdraw money. That's it. No, no. There are small little sips of finance that will refresh your banking perspective. So here I present to you a sip of banking in a sip of finance today. Welcome to a sip of finance podcast by Priyanka Acharya. I'm your host Shanali, and this is a lady special podcast that will help you get better with your finances. Conceptualized by Priyanka Acharya, a financial consultant who simplifies a lot of financial jargon for you. She comes with 14 plus years of experience in this field and has helped many grow their money. So, you can now learn simple finance not just in English but in seven other languages. Let's get started. Sip by sip, we have been understanding finance concepts. and today we will be picking up one that sounds pretty simple banking oh okay what's the big deal i have a bank account already or a few of you may say i have my dad's or husband's bank account i get my credits and withdrawals managed from that it's just the tip of the iceberg there's a lot more and so let me tell you natasha's story today Natasha's parents had opened a minor bank account to begin her finance journey when she was just 3 years old. Obviously, her account was managed by her father. After graduation, Natasha got a job and a salary account was opened by her employer. And then after marriage, someone approached her husband Navin to open accounts for all family members. That too with a zero balance. And there was another account added to Natasha's account list. Now Natasha's wallet had 3 debit cards and one credit card. And then just like us, UPI entered Natasha's life as well. For ease of online payments, she started using UPI apps too. After a few years, Natasha quit her job to start her own venture. And then came the turn for a new current account. So now, four debit cards and two credit cards in her wallet. Now just think Even if we carry a wardrobe full of clothes at every important event most of us say oh i don't have anything to wear and then yeah we roll out another shopping spree natasha used to always get confused as to which mode of payment to use each time and then the solution was simple whatever comes handy first from her purse In fact, sometimes she would use the one with the most beautiful design and even say, "I really wish the bank issued new cards every year. This design is getting boring." Then she used to use UPI wherever she got discount offers on using the app. In fact, once she lost her personal debit card and just swiped her current account debit card in a personal transaction. Now keep this story in mind and let us explore a few banking hygiene practices. Bank account opening is perhaps the simplest step towards financial well-being or financial fitness. And now we have the convenience of digital banking, Jan Dhan Yojana 2. But have you thought why exactly you need a bank account? Ideally it is good to have three personal savings accounts. but this tip only works if you use the particular bank account for a particular mapped purpose only so for fun and ease of understanding let's name these accounts as ganga jamuna and saraswati account ganga is for the inflow of your salary or your pocket money or your household budget amount every month or your personal income from business account jamuna is a small pocket money account This will have a casually minor balance and you need to link all your UPI apps to this one. UPI is a super safe payment mode right now. With this method, you save unwanted expenses and make the account safe too. Account Saraswati. This is a special account, so let's understand using an example. Assume your account gets an inflow of 25000 rupees every month. 
Now, the first thing to do is set a standing instruction in your inflow account, that's account Ganga. Tell the bank to automatically debit account Ganga and transfer a fixed amount of 5000 rupees to account Saraswati on the 4th of every month. Account Saraswati is your actual savings account for your mandatory monthly savings. If I compare it to older methods, account Saraswati is that rice dabba where cash used to be kept as a saving. Now your monthly budget expenses. Say for example, 10,000 per month will keep going from account Ganga and your little UPI payments like say 2,000 will go from your pocket money account Jamuna. So out of 25,000, 5,000 we parked in Saraswati, 12,000 got spent. Now the 8,000 you're still left with, buddy, that's your bonus. That designer handbag in the mall which tempted you so much last week and then you looked at the price and left it there, remember? But now, with this simple process, you earned a bonus for yourself despite no extra income. Just try this monthly activity for a few months and your bank account will be your wholesome best friend. There's still lots to tell you about banking, but that's for the next episode. Till then, start sorting out your Ganga Jamuna Saraswati and let the waves of happiness enter your lives. That's a wrap on this episode of A Sip of Finance Podcast. We will see you in the coming week. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this podcast helpful, do give us a shout out on social media and tag us. It will help us empower more people. If you want to reach out to Priyanka, she is available on Instagram at Priyanka U Acharya and on LinkedIn as Priyanka Acharya. You can listen to this podcast on the IVM Podcasts app, website or wherever you get your podcasts. Do follow us on social media. We are at IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. See you in the next episode. Thank you for listening to A Sip of Finance by Priyanka Acharya. There's a quick survey to fill out on ivmpodcast.com slash survey. It lets us know a little bit more about who's listening to us. And you know what? We're going to do a few prizes. So, I mean, like, we'll do a random drawing of, like, maybe 10 people and we'll send you all some swag. Remember, that's ivmpodcast.com slash survey where you can fill out the survey. Hello everyone, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcasts Network. On the Habit Coach Podcast, we bring you a Pride Month special episode. Fertility specialist Dr. Yuvraj Jadeja talks to Ashton about safe queer sex practices. On the Filter Coffee Podcast, Karthik speaks with Rahul Thappa, Managing Director of Naviga on the Watchmaker's Craft. On Smarter with Sid, Siddharth ponders over how content creator PewDiePie manages to stay relevant. On Hanswani, a tribal woman takes a stand against her abusive husband in the story Var. And on Ek Chuski Finance, Priyanka highlights the importance of estate planning. We've got some exciting news for you. IVM Podcasts has just launched its merch and our first line is out now. Head to the IVM Podcasts website and click on the shop tab to check out our first collection of t-shirts. Do follow us on social media via IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, do tell a friend. Also, don't forget to rate us on any platforms that you're listening on. And you can also check us out on YouTube. We're also doing a small listener survey to better understand how you respond to our shows and advertising on the network. We would really appreciate if you could spare a few minutes to fill it. It helps us build better shows for you. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week. Cap Gemini, Intel Vpro, and Intel, future banana wonderful with Intel powered laptops.